You know, with all these new consumer electronics on the market, it can be difficult to know whether you've made a, a good or a bad purchasing decision. I think what the reasonable consumer wants is a, an in-depth analysis of all the top products so you can decide which offer good value for money. But then, of course, any reasonable consumer probably wouldn't have bought any of this rubbish in the first place. No, if you would eat your own grandmother rather than pass up on the latest gizmo, uh, the mere confines of level-headed, unbiased opinion are simply no longer valid for you. You're an extreme consumer. Boy, are we glad we bumped into you. This is a digital versatile disc player, the new format that's set to replace videotape and CDs. Uh, each one of these DVDs can contain an entire film. Now, like CD players, when they first came out, the DVD players are still rather expensive, and there's a limited set of films uh, available for the format. Surely, an excellent reason for why any extreme consumer should purchase one. Is that right, Dave? Yeah, Danny. Or maybe that's just what they want you to think. You see, these new European DVDs are actually exactly the same as the US models that have been around for nearly a year now. The US DVDs have thousands of films available, but we can't watch any of them because filmmakers have forced manufacturers to modify European DVD players so that they won't play the cheaper, more readily available films from the US. You're kidding. Well, that's... That's, that's f unbelievable. I can't. That just to make a big bag. That's that's. All right. So what do we do? Well, Dan, it was only the most extreme consumers who carried on buying vinyl after CDs appeared. So I propose that as a protest, the public should not adopt DVD until the evil corporate fat cats give in to our demands. OK, but well, what is the extreme consumer going to uh, uh, waste his money on in the uh, meantime? Well, I thought, why not one of these? An early 80s Betamax video recorder. These lost out to VHS, although they were supposedly superior quality. And that means that you can pick up a recorder and some tapes for next to nothing nowadays and enjoy high quality analog recordings in the comfort and privacy of your own home. So you say these things are quite cheap then? Uh, yeah, the uh, low price is unfortunate. Yes, but the extreme credibility that this baby loses in terms of its affordability is more than made up for by being almost impossible to find or use. Good solid build too. Yeah, hefty. A lesson for us all I think. Good night.